Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics, a place where you can improve your understanding of physics with confidence. In today's lesson, I'll explain longitudinal waves with the help of past paper questions from Cambridge ES Physics. This question is about longitudinal waves, but we need to be very clear about longitudinal waves to answer this question. Let's try to understand what exactly longitudinal waves are. If we look at this animation, we can simply see that the particles are moving to the right and to the left. And in this case, the wave is moving to the right. So if we just focus at one particle, as I have already drawn rectangle, you can see how this particle is moving. This particle is moving to the right and left. Or simply, we can say the vibrations are parallel to the wave direction. So if the particles of medium, they're vibrating like this, we call these are longitudinal waves. Let's try to understand a little bit more about longitudinal waves. As you can see here, in this region, particles are close together and this region we call is compression. And next region, particles are away from each other, that region is called rarefaction. And next one again is compression. And the distance between two compressions or rarefaction is called wavelength. Let's try to answer this question now because now we have basic understanding of longitudinal waves. So this question is simply asking us which point on the graph is the center of compression. So compression simply means that if the particles are moving towards each other like this, so that will be compression. So this is the point we need to understand. Next one, rarefaction will be like this. The particles are moving like this, you can see. So in this case, particles are moving away from each other. So this will be rarefaction, rarefaction. Now, if you look at this graph now, we can see the displacement is positive and displacement is negative, then displacement is positive, then it is negative. Displacement positive, let's say we take to the right as positive. So it's simply telling us particles from here to here, means particles between O and B, they're just moving to the right. And displacement is negative between B and D. It simply tells us particles are moving to the left. So simply we can find out this will be the center of compression. Now if you look at after D, so for, let's say this point is E. Between D and E we can see particles are moving to the right. So it means the center of compression is at B at point B and center of refraction is at D. So simply we can answer in this case our answer will be B. So let me explain you a little bit more if you are not clear how we got this answer. Uh, you can look at this uh, diagram now I have drawn here for you. So this is over point B and this point is point D. If you look at this point at point B, this is center of compression. You can see these particles are moving towards each other. So this is center of compression. So if we look at point D, you can see this particle is moving to the left and this particle is moving to the right. So this is center of rarefaction.